Microsoft announced on Thursday that not everyone will be able to upgrade to Windows 10 on the same day, July 29. We want to make sure all of you have a great upgrade experience, so we'll roll out Windows 10 in phases to help manage the demand, Microsoft Executive Vice President Terry Meyerson said in a blog post. According to the post, Windows 10 updates will be available first for Windows insiders, 5 million people who are testing the operating system. After July 29, Microsoft will let people who reserved Windows 10 download the operating system in waves. If you reserved your copy of Windows 10, we will notify you once our compatibility work confirms you will have a great experience, and Windows 10 has been downloaded on your system, he said. The software giant prefers a slow rollout since it desires constant feedback regarding Windows 10 from different hardware configurations, impossible to gain in artificial testing environments. Each day of the rollout, we will listen, learn, and update the experience for all Windows 10 users, Meyerson said. Microsoft is aiming for 1 billion PCs to run Windows 10 in two or three years. Windows 10 will be the last version of Windows, but there will be regular installments and updates to the software. Along with the return of the start menu, the new version of Windows will include a browser called Edge, especially aimed at winning the hearts of mobile users. Although the world's largest software company hasn't yet released official prices for the new operating system, it is speculated that the home edition will be $109 and professional version be $149 for hardware makers. Users with Windows version 7 and 8.1 will have the opportunity to upgrade to the new operating system without charge.